Hello friends, and I have a treat for you today. Being so close to the darkest day of 2020, the summer solstice just passing. Yes, once again, featuring the Yamaha PSR 27, the latest in keyboard technology from about 1990, I imagine. Uh, it's accompanying me with a the usual G major sound just droning in the background. Uh, so being such a dark day, not the longest dark day, but uh, just about, that was the 21st of December, winter solstice in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. Um, so I did a uh, video on minor scales and uh, I thought it was appropriate to do something on major scales. And um, it's interesting. Uh, people say, you know, major scales or major chords are happy and minor scales are sad and uh, that may be uh, true for some people I don't necessarily feel that way uh, I think it all depends it all just depends on uh, how and where they're used um, I can find I, sometimes I find like uh, really overly happy sounding scales to be uh, frightening almost uh, and sometimes those so-called sad minor scales can sound uh, kind of uh, cleansing. I don't know how to describe it. In any event, that's uh, you decide what what it is that, that that it makes you feel or what you know, whatever emotions you think it evokes. Um, I've got a, so I've got a G major drone here and you'll have to forgive me for always using G major. It's just easy to see on the guitar and uh, it's easy to sort of run it across a uh, full octave. But I wanna show you a handful of major scales and um, like the minor scales, I'm going to go through the, uh, the, the, the standard modal major scales and I'm also going to talk about two others the harmonic major and the melodic major which is really uh that last one there is like almost never used uh not sure why but uh anyways let's get to it so the let's talk about the uh, the major scales so there's uh let's talk about the modes first so you've got your uh your Ionian mode the Nashville one and uh, it's 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 your it's your major scale. It's the bass line. It's the bass we sort of measure everything against. Um, pretty stable. Uh, it's cool. It's very powerful. I use it all the time. Uh, talk about the uh the lydian mode the fourth mode uh this 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 was a favorite uh this was a favorite scale of frank zappa and uh it's essentially a major scale with an augmented fourth it goes like this got that uh, that augmented four which is just so beautiful <laughs> and um, and then there's the fifth mode uh, is it major well it's yeah I would argue it is and uh, I mean it's got a major third 
Uh, typically, it's your five chord. And it'll be used to resolve itself to the one chord. But uh, in its own right, it can it can be played, uh, you know, over a major uh, major major chord uh, shapes. And it basically is your major with a minor seventh. It goes like this. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I, I love it. It's got that tritone in it between the three and the seven. Uh, intervals. Wants to resolve to that uh, that C. Uh, so that's uh, those are the three that you're gonna find in your typical modal system. So you got your one chord or your Ionian. You've got your four chord or your Lydian, and you've got your five chord, your Mixolydian. Uh, so let's uh, look at the let's look at the harmonic major chord. Kind of out there sounding, very cool though. Uh, it's it's your major scale with a minor six interval. It goes like this. <laughs> pretty cool it's colorful for sure that minor six uh, it's really beautiful uh, the chord you get from that is quite lovely uh, you know it's quite uh, it's haunting that that minor six is just uh, the major seven out there it's out in space somewhere last one I want to show you is the melodic major it is almost I rarely rarely ever hear it played and uh, it's like the it's like the melodic minor in that we uh, we tweak we tweak the sixth and seventh intervals uh, of the major scale uh, but in this case for the melodic minor we minor we play a minor seven and a minor six and it sounds like this I'll play it slowly because it's it's, it's out there sounding <laughs> flavor to it minor six minor seven Cool, so uh, what is that? That's, uh, I gave you five options there to play over a, over a major. Um, 
I want to end with one more, which is really a very cool, very, very cool scale. And it's uh, the whole tone scale. And uh, it is basically a six note scale that uses all whole tones, whole tone separations between every interval. And it sounds, uh, here Stevie Wonder uses a lot, uh, but it sounds, uh, listen for yourself. I, fi I find it's just very like transcendent sounding. It sounds elevating to me for whatever. I, I just feel like it, I'm floating off the ground when I hear this thing. And it goes like this, just whole tones. So you've got a, basically you've got a, uh, you, I guess you've got an augmented four, an augmented five, and a minor seven. Uh, but it's only a six note scale. It sounds like this. crazy uh really cool and it's one of these um the chords you get from this thing it just uh and they can be shifted because they're all parallel and it has this like dominant flat five sound hey as a five chord. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, major scales, there's lots more. Uh, but those are your, uh, those are your, uh, I guess you would call them, I wouldn't even, some of those aren't even that standard. Typically you'll just hear the major and the Lydian modes used. Um, in jazz you'll hear those uh, harmonic major and melodic major uh, sounds. Anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed that. Um, try playing those over, uh, over a minor. You can put those in a You know, somebody's playing, for example, an A minor. You could play any one of those C major chords, and it's gonna it's gonna fit. And that's because of that relative nature. They they share a lot of the same chord tones. Uh. Anyways, I hope you found that cool. If not, uh, file your complaints in the comments section.